Hi, I'm Dr. Shomeshwar Singh. I'm a surgeon and scientist. I treated children with hearing loss by surgery, cochlear implant surgery that restores their power of hearing. But this would not work in older children because their brain would not be able to accept auditory signals. So we set up, so we started working on a new concept. See Sound Life converts your speech effort into a visual equivalent. The technology converts your effort into a mathematical model which is displayed on the screen of a smartphone like device. When you see the pattern which has been created mathematically from what you have said, it's not script, it's the sound itself, you get a strong sense of what you are saying. You move up from simple phonetic elements to complex phonetic elements, non-words, small words and then move on to complex words. We can make it in every language in the world. The entire experience, the, all the data is captured on a server. When we did our trials, children moved from speaking one or two sounds to 15, 20 sounds out of a total of 30 in about six months. We were astounded at that result and we were very encouraged. The unit economics is quite straightforward. We go to a deaf school, we don't need to be very popular. We go to a deaf school, there are hundreds of students there. There's nothing else to compare it to. They are right now speaking to you by sign language. Now they have a way to try and learn how to speak, add on to their skill. We charge a basic subscription fee which is estimated at 1500 today. We recently commercialized it in Rajasthan and the numbers add up quite nicely. At the end of first year we are making profit. How many users have you worked with right now? So we've got about 100 users who have gone through the trials that we were carefully following until they broke for summer vacation. We have now, since we commercially launched it, we were inundated by 2000 users who are who are getting enrolled and now we are carefully following the data so every school do you need a skilled person to interpret the data how do you no no there's no interpretation work? of data so yeah. we need to train the teacher in the school in the concept we got around that also by creating modules where in the first level if you imagine only gives you an idea that the user only gets used to seeing what he's saying and that's module one once he gets used to it he moves on to the next module where he tries to say simple sounds like R, E, which he anyway can, and get a sense that he's recognizing and feeling it all with his visual processing skills. Bearing in mind, deaf people have very strong visual processing skills because they are naturally heightened. And so we are using nature's compensation to our benefit. The computer in this whole technology really is your own brain. The technology is only giving the brain a feedback as to what it can do with that information. Brain is all clever. If it gets the feedback, it will deliver. These were very lucrative.